My name is Shirley Peters. I was born with a double aortic arch, coarctation of the aorta. As a child, you're always cold, and I always heard my heart beat in my head. I wasn't able to run 10 steps. I, I was limited in that capacity. General heart disease is a disease that children are born with. Approximately 500 children a year are born with uh, congenital heart disease in Alberta. Survival rates 50, 60 years ago were only about 20 to 30 percent and are now over 90 percent. So the majority of these patients will eventually be transitioned into the adult clinic. The types of heart disease that we see are usually, in effect, uh, a change in the plumbing. So there are malformations of the way the heart is formed. Sometimes there's valves missing, sometimes there's holes in the heart, and sometimes the chambers are abnormal. It's curable in a sense that uh, we can perform surgery to correct the way that the heart works. On the other hand, though, you basically have an abnormal heart for life. The interesting thing about congenital heart disease is that it's a lifelong process. With the Adult Congenital Heart Disease Program, our aim is to provide a smooth transition from the pediatric cardiology world to prepare these individuals for all aspects of their life. So we require support for many other areas. We'd like to develop something that's very seamless for the patient. Patients have been looked after since birth, essentially by our doctors, and then to change to a whole new set of doctors after 18 years is quite a traumatic experience, both for the patient and for the family. And so you go as a child into the pediatrics, and then you go into the adult world, but the medical world, it's like a family, and you just shift from one side into the next. It should be the least concern that a congenital heart patient should have is the transition from pediatrics into adult. By using the approach database, we have one of the largest databases of cardiovascular disease in the world that allows our researchers to look at large populations with a great amount of data to allow the researchers to be able to do the things that they wish to do. Over the next number of decades, as we'll have an active record of all children adolescents and adults who have congenital heart disease, this will allow our researchers to look longitudinally at rare diseases to decide whether we've created the best care for these people. Uh, and as genetics come on stream more widely over the next few years, we will be able to add other data to this database. So this will be a resource that will be utilized over the next number of decades, not only for Albertans, but for international researchers as well. We're really proud that the Institute has cardiovascular researchers from a large number of faculties within the University of Calgary. Nursing, kinesiology and engineering just to name just a few. I think we are very, very fortunate in this city to have the doctors, the staff, the whole community, the medical community that we have. I went to Cleveland, I checked out the best of the best because I wanted to make sure I was going to the best place to have my, my surgery done and they referred me all back to, to Calgary. All the procedures that I had, the, the fact that the, they always had the right doctor to look after me, whether it was the, the vascular surgeon, whether it was the cardiac specialist, all those people from the Livin Institute, I mean, it was a teamwork. It was a collaborative process. They were looking for the best outcome for you. I came all the way here because of research, to be honest, and even, even know where Calgary is, but I wanted to learn from Dr. Chen. For me, he's a mentor. He's teaching me on multiple levels. My whole laboratory teach each other from different perspectives, from medical doctors towards chemical engineers from all over the world. And we still come together and we work on this great research project. Moving forward in our new strategic plan over the next five years is we really are going to focus on three areas, and that includes people. We have wonderful people and we're looking to recruit over the next five years. We have internationally renowned platforms with cardiac imaging and the approach database and a number of things that our researchers use, but most importantly is the partnerships that we establish with our community. We've been in existence now for a little over 11 years and we've made great strides over that time. I think we're looking at great academic research and education, and that really translates into wonderful care in our community. Well, it's important for the community to get involved with the Lipid Cardiovascular Institute. The reason being is not only is it, is it worldwide and recognized across all of the world and, and North America as one of the best places, but with the money that we raise in Alberta, this will be going directly to Calgary. 
I think the future is hugely bright for the Live in Cardiovascular Institute and cardiac sciences in general. I think we will be making discoveries over the next decade that we wouldn't have dreamed of even 10 years ago.